Okay, so what we're going to do is we know molybdenum is one of these anomalous uh, electron uh, uh, configuration atoms, right? So what we're going to do is predict what molybdenum should be and then figure out what it is, okay? So help me write the electron configuration for molybdenum if you don't mind. So 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, what's next? 3p6, what's next? 4s2, 3d, very good, 10, 4p6, 5s2, 4d4 is what you would expect it to be. Okay? That's what you would expect it to be, right? The thing is, is when you have these half-filled B <coughs> orbitals, um, molybdenum and chromium will act weird. Okay? So what they'll do is they'll take one of their S electrons in the previous S orbital and add it to the D ele electron subset. Okay? So instead of being the 5s2, 4d4, what is it going to be? 5s1, 4d5. Okay? So let's go ahead. So all of this is going to be the same. So if we wanted to, we could write, um, what, argon, right? or sorry, chromium, or krypton, I mean, chromium. I have these anomalous atoms in my head. So let's go ahead and, um, well, I don't know if we have enough room, but we'll try to build the electron configuration on, or um, the electron diagram on this board, okay? So where do we start? The 1s way down here, then the 2s. And the 2p, how many orbitals? How many? Three. Three. And then what's next? The 3s. Three One. Three 3p. Three, three. three of them. 4s. Four four 3d. How many? Five. Five. Okay. I'm going to have What's next? 4P. 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 And then 5S. And it looks like I'm going to have to erase the other one. And then 4D. And is that it? Okay. So let's build it like it should have been if it, add, if it um, added in correctly. Okay, through off valve huns and poly exclusion. Okay, so it should go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, right? So that's the way it should fill. Is everybody okay with me doing all of that? So remember, this is increasing energy here. But remember, these anomalous ones are more stable when they have an either half-filled D subset or a full D subset, okay? This one's one away from having a half filled, so what it does is it actually will take that second 5S electron and move it up to that D orbital there, okay? So let's draw the new configuration, or the new diagram, I mean. Oops, I draw the old one. So that's what it looks like. 
Everybody okay with that? Mm -hmm. So you got to remember these five atoms that do that. Does, does the function of the five S change? I mean, so the thing is, is the reason it does, we'll talk about that in a second, but once you fill up your d orbital, the s orbital actually gain, is higher in energy. Okay? But um, let's, uh, since we have molybdenum up here, let's just um, do silver, because it's really close to molybdenum and we can kill them both with one stone. Okay? So what should silver's condensed orbital diagram look like? I mean, condensed electron configuration. What should, so this is molybdenum, right? What should silvers look like? KR. KR. 5S. 5S. Well, that's, well, okay, so what does it look like? Okay, let's say that. 5S1. 5S1. 4D10, right? But if, if we did what it should, like you were thinking I was saying, uh, it would have been 5S2. 49, right? Okay. But, so, it does the same thing as molybdenum, right? But what do we do? We just put those electrons in that higher orbital. So, one, two, three, four, five, like that. Okay. So, to answer Aduke's question now, what happens once we fill that up? These S electrons become more energetic than the four Ds. Okay, and in fact, it happened down here too. We just didn't indicate. Okay, so that that's what happens every time. Okay, so when you have a half filled D subset or a full filled D subset, they become very stable. Okay, so it induces these ones that are very close to it to make a half or full filled one. Is there, everybody okay with this? Okay, good.